no one will get upset about it. No one cares about the admissions, but will freak out all day if somebody saw a chubacabra in their backyard with no proof. And so I don't understand that paradox where Steve Quayle, and I'm not knocking folks to talk about chubacabras. The point is, we have real spider goats going on for 30 years. I didn't know about it until 20 years ago. We have real glow-in-the-dark cats and dogs you can buy in Asia. They won't allow it here because they don't want the public to freak out. You know, they're part jellyfish. And, and, and if a new listener's hearing this, I know it sounds insane, but it's real. So, Steve Quill, what is this paradox where they admit the Emergency Centers Establishment Act with the FEMA camps, Army.mil says they're preparing to re-educate Americans in them for our political beliefs, how they're going to break our families up, but I can't get anybody to go to the document. But they'll, they'll, some guy shows a train station and says he thinks it's one, and it gets 5 million views when it's not. So then Glenn Beck can say we're making stuff up and show a train station that we didn't say was a FEMA camp, but say we said it's a FEMA camp. So that's why I try to be careful and only report on what we can prove. I know the rabbit hole goes a trillion miles deeper, but, but how do you deal with this paradox? Well, first of all, you've got to understand that I believe that we are the most mind-controlled population in the world. I get into that, Alex, in, in realms I never even touched in, in my new book, Empire Beneath the Ice. It's fine. And let me just share this. We're talking about this. Peter Goodgame made it a powerful statement. And a lot of people are asking why all this Hitler stuff, and this will answer your question. And I'm going to quote Goodgame, one quick paragraph. The answer to what drove Hitler can be found by examining Hitler's relationship with the occult, his involvement in the dark arts of sorcery and demon or spirit possession. And then Revelation 17, 8 says, The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and, uh, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go forth into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names are not written in the book of life from the foundations of the world. Cloning has been so sophisticated. One of the things that got me in a lot of trouble years ago, and, and if it wouldn't have been for some brave guys in Austin, God bless you, those people in Austin know who I'm talking about, uh, would have led to uh, an event where I would no longer be on Alex Jones, my show, or anybody's show. The advanced cloning, Alex, I prove, you know this, I footnote everything. I prove it, but I can't overcome, nor can you overcome, or we overcome, the denial of uncomfortability, okay? The people want you to be the, the tip of the spear, want me to be the tip of the spear, the bow in, uh, of the icebreaker, you know? And, and guess what? If the bow on the icebreaker doesn't hit the ice first, I mean, that which stands against it, the rest of the ship, you know, won't be able to make it through the ice, so we're living in a world of supernatural, demonic, and, and, and I believe a fallen angel infestation, okay? Remember this. Everybody you and I quote in the New World Order, the globalists, all these guys are Luciferians. To them, Lucifer is more real than Jesus Christ is to the Christians, okay? Now, I'm not saying that's the case. I'm saying they take their Luciferianism to the nth degree. And talking about baby parts, okay? This is, ladies and gentlemen, the Nazis are the ones who provided Margaret Sanger with her intellectual quasi uh, supernatural evil. If, if, if the devil's goal is to destroy mankind, Alex, and I believe that's what you and believe. They had to and I agree. They had to betray Hitler. This is all on record. Literally, folks, if you look into it, he had to play the bad cop so America, England, and others could play the good cop with the soft eugenics under the table so that people wouldn't see that Hitler was actually just one expression to be defeated so then their system could come into full power with a global government based on uh, the agreements that were made after World War II for the dollar to be the world reserve currency. Well, that's true, but remember that that the, in the last days when the Antichrist does show up on the scene, it says that the kings of the earth will give their power unto him. That's okay? right. They'll fall down and worship him. And what this, this is something I've got to say. The entity in the slaughterhouse, those are my words for the current American policy, uh, we're seeing now the fulfillment, or forgive me, the inception of Islamic, uh, and, and the, if you will, the return of the Mahdi, and that he can only return after World War III. The, you know, Alex, people used to say to me, you're crazy, well, there's not going to be a nuclear war. Well, everybody would get us destroyed. Meanwhile, China moves into Syria. Russia's there. Uh, we're doing, NATO just moved in its AWACS planes, which is a direct challenge to Vladimir Putin. 
Putin's given, I believe, every chance for America to step away. But it's, there's an unseen hand, Alex, and it is the devil. It's Luciferianism. And no matter who you quote, I quote, we can take them in concept. How many times over the years you've been on talk radio have you quoted all the population control quotes from everything from Cousteau to Prince Philip? You name it, everybody. Yet people don't want to admit it. Now we see the geoengineering. You remember how much flack I caught when I first broke that story? Uh, I, I, and for the record, I'm not taking... No, it's true. You, you, you're you the first person I remember breaking that there was atmospheric weather manipulation going on with things being added to the fuel to be dispersed by the engines. You dug out the patents, uh, all of it, absolutely. You and then um, also Dr. Nick Begich, were the, uh, I think he came after you. Right. Angels don't play this harp. And and the situation is is that now... We've got Nazi technology, but here's what I want people to understand. Dr. Mengele's driving force was to keep the seed of the Fuhrer going. There's a little town in Brazil that has, I think, uh, 10% of its population, uh, six to 700 sets of twins, Claudio Corday or Cordo, C-O-D-I-T, and I don't speak Spanish, so I apologize for slaughtering that. But the point being is, is that twinning was was kindergarten. Alex, I've talked to people, I'm sure you have too, and, and now when every news story on Matt, Matt Drudge's site, you know, the point is, is that cloning is so far advanced in gene editing and the super soldiers, everything now is coming into play. And I said to people, I said, when this stuff begins to be uh, implemented on a global scale, it will come from your left side, your right side, it will come from underneath you, it will come from behind you, and it's, it's basically their idea same strategy, Cloud Piven, is to overwhelm the system and overwhelm the census. And I believe that America, even more so than any country, has been numbed and dumbed down. And look, you know, people want to look at sports, fine. But entertainment has nourished and blinded the thinking process of most Americans. Now, the NBA is on an anti-gun rant, and I want to say this. I'm on record as stating anybody who will take your guns away is your executioner. They can't give me any BS. They can't. That's give right. Me any anybody crap. promoting gun control, especially organized media, is a conscious enemy of you and your family who literally wants to break you and destroy you. Now, remember that when you still watch the NBA or the NFL. Remember that when you're not actively out opening uh, dialogues with people, exposing that these people are our enemies. Absolutely. And again, you know, hey, people forget who, who really went to work on propaganda. You, you know, look, let's look at it realistically. By the way, I put up a story yesterday on my website, Angela Merkel, and uh, uh, that she was the head of the Stasi. She denied it, but CNN backed it up with all their uh, Stasi, meaning East German secret police. Ask yourself, why would she, as the, uh, if you will, the, the head of Germany allow the total destruction of Germany. Well, it's because the Illuminati has a one, uh, here's the thing, Alex, they don't get, the people don't get, is it's order ad chaos. That you're seeing the global chaos now to bring about the new world order. Uh, I mean, well, absolutely. We I mean, look, they can make cats that are part spider. They can make goats that are part spider. For 20 years that you could buy in Hong Kong glow-in-the-dark monkeys, I mean, I'm showing people mainstream news articles right now. that This is not a joke. And I always see comments on InfoWars going, he was talking about glowing cats again today. They won't even go research it. It's mainstream news. This is what's well, going on. Absolutely. And here's the thing. You know, it, when there's a, a Department of Propaganda in the military, most of those people that will take you on, 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 or me on, and all the different I hate Alex, I hate Steve, I hate this, I hate that forums, People who are on those forums have got to ask themselves, what have these people done to inform? Look, your record stands for what it is. My record stands for what it is. They can, they can complain. They can moan. They can destroy our, our uh, you know, reputations, try. They can do all these things, but they can't account for being wrong for the last 20 years, can they? They can't. No, they want to change the subject onto us. And, I mean, look at this. You speak of the Islamic invasion. I would hear you on this and a lot of others a decade ago and go, they're not really going to use the Muslims, the radical Muslims, to take over. And I know they were going to have a clash of civilizations. They admitted that. But, I mean, here it is. Organized Europe advertisers come in. They actually bring in the Sunni refugees that are the jihadists. They know they're going to attack. Common sense is suspended, Steve. And when they do attack us, they announce that citizens are going to lose their rights. 
It turns out the FBI was blocked from going after the San Bernardino uh, people. I mean, they really are going to bring in these proxy armies. How bad is the Islamic invasion going to get of Europe? I mean, what's the end game there? Well, the end game is the complete uh, dissolution of Europe for, I don't know, a brief time period, and then you're going to see total war against the Muslims. You probably saw Poland said, we'll raise an army of 150,000. I clap and salute. The president of Hungary said, not here. The president of uh, the Czech Republic said, not here. And it's fascinating, isn't it, Alan? Alex, that the idea of those very same people that withstood the Muslim invasion of Europe are withstanding them now. Meanwhile, we just got the news today, you probably saw it, that in those 70-year-old declassified records, it shows that the French government, the Vichy government, was working with the Nazis to exterminate the Jews. I don't know if you saw that story yet. Oh, absolutely. That's how they took over France. France didn't even fight. The Germans infiltrated them. Steve Quell's our guest. About 20, 30 minutes the next hour, and we'll go to Simon, Frank, Ray, Mike, Chris, and others. By the way, last week I started telling a story on air, a true story that I've never really gotten into. And then a video was put out about it, and it went viral. I'll put that on TV screen uh, for TV viewers, for radio listeners. I will uh, give you the headline. Assassin brought in to kill Alex Jones dies in police shootout. Uh, that was the headline. Whoever gave the headlines that day came up with. Um, the reason I think of this is Steve Quell talked about a case where some special forces people found out about a plan to kill him about a decade ago, and it got stopped at a public event. That's why Quell hasn't really been in public or been seen since then. Here's what I want to tell you. Since I mentioned this, I am going to get all the documents together and do a short piece on it. But it's not the kind of thing that you want to give attention to. I mean, it's really weird when you're actually talking about yourself. Um, but I love the trolls on there, you know, saying, oh, that's not true. Uh, you know, none of this happened. It's like the time the FBI came here about the Obama deception and was asking about the Obama deception. And then a year later at a trial, it actually came up. It was sealed via a subpoena. I couldn't tell you why they were here. And then, oh, it was true, wasn't it? Well, a couple of years ago, the Austin police chief was here to discuss a bunch of issues on air. And he said, hey, you know, you know, we basically stopped some guy coming to kill you two weeks ago. He goes, I was too busy to come on, but once this happened, you were asking me on, I came on to tell you. He goes, you really don't know about this. He goes, well, I can't talk about it, but you'll know soon. And the, the, the guy that came here reportedly do this, last name was Cheney, and then they've got the files in there. I was just looking at them during the break. And then he came here, they caught him, they couldn't keep him in jail, they, you know, they, they ran him out of town. And then the police in California went after him, and he died in a firefight with them, and a house got burned down. I mean, this was in the news in California. I was sent this by detectives there. And so, okay, I'll do a piece on it, but notice the trolls will say that's a lie, because that's what their job is. And people are like, why haven't we heard about this before? Well, because if you haven't experienced this, like my cousin just retired out of the Army, but the you know, the they were getting stuff from like cartels in their mailboxes saying where they lived and what their family was doing. Until you've experienced this stuff, you sit there in your basements as your little men, and then you point at people in the arena, and you tell us what's true and what is, and oh, that couldn't be happening. Because until you've experienced all this, you just don't know how real it is. And, and, and I'll go back. I wasn't telling the story in a, in a kind of half-baked way because I just barely you know went over it because I was talking about the fact that the police were looking out for me and they weren't using illegal data they were using social network scrubbing systems to see what people are saying so it's a weird paradox where the kind of spy system probably saved my life and I got a cop killed uh and then I was just saying it's weird to like oh the police won it's 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 an interesting paradox and so Quayle talked about that, and it made me think of it. We're going to break in a minute and a half. Steve, I'm sorry I'm ranting so much today. It's just that people don't know how real this stuff is. Go ahead. Well, Alex, again, I thank God for everyone that prays for your safety, prays for my safety, my family's safety. But, you know, ladies and gentlemen, there's a whole group. I had a lieutenant colonel in my office uh, from Nor um, uh, NORAD, uh, the, you know, and he was basically telling me with tears in his eyes, I knew him. His father was a former uh, 
uh, business associate of mine 20 years ago when we did film stuff together. And with tears in his eyes, he said, Steve, we're going to do everything we can to destroy you guys on talk radio. We'll destroy you. We'll put innuendos out there. He said, I can't take it. He said, I'm a Christian. So, Alex, I think.